Hey, what's up everybody? It is B the Installer. I am here to show you how to install the new Sanus Tilt and Extend Mount that you can get at Costco. Here you go. This is the model uh, SLT3, and this is the mount that you see by the thousands at Costco. It's everywhere. So basically, if you go into a Costco and see TVs, you trip over these mounts. And so uh, everybody has them, and I'm sure you're interested to find out how to install this. I've done a few of these, to say the least, and I'm going to show you the good things about them, a couple things that I do not like about it, and how to overcome those things that I, uh, may not be perfect for this mount. And we'll get a little turning, a little tilting, and go from there. So stay tuned. Before we get going, I just want to let you know, if you're uncomfortable with this stuff, hire a professional. If you're pretty comfortable or pretty handy, I think you can get it done, but I'm going to let you handle that. Uh, I'll give you all the tips and everything that make it easy for me to install this and kind of the things that we learn in the industry that help make this go a little easier. Uh, but we're going to break it down into basically four steps. Um, the first step is to unbox the mount and put the brackets on the TV. The, the, that's step one. And step two is to measure out uh, the TV from the floor to the top of the TV and understand where that bracket is going to attach and where it's going to attach to the wall plate. So that's step two is the measurement. Step three then is putting them out on the wall behind me and then step four is hanging the TV. So we're going to go over each step and we're going to let you guys get a good understanding of how to do this and make it comfortable for you. Let's do it. So we're going to go over the tools that you need for this job. First you're going to need a screwdriver uh, to put the bracket on the TV. You are going to need a pencil and a tape measure to kind of figure out where things are. You're going to need the stud finder here um, or, you know, method of stud finding. You can watch my video on stud finding if needed. Uh, of course, you're going to need a drill and bits. Uh, this one takes one quarter inch bit. And uh, here is a uh, socket and ratchet that set that you're going to need. Um, I have an adapter for that. And then you may need also uh, a knife you may need some toggle bolts I can show you how the toggle bolts work and then of course you're gonna need a level to make sure it's all good so let's get to it so the first step in getting this TV installed is to unbox the mount and throw the brackets on the TV so step one brackets on TV uh, let's get this unboxed and we'll do that so it has a mount uh, wall plate template and it has some instructions. I'm going to get rid of those. I actually don't like to use the template because the template is, it has room for error where the bracket itself doesn't. So like if you put the wall plate bracket on the wall, you know, and you need to level that, that's, that's perfection. You can't mess that up. The, the template can be screwed up. Instructions will hold on to if needed. You know, I, I recommend you read them if you want. I mean, it tells you some things that are important in here. One of the things is it tells you to get a 7 32nd inch wood drill bit, you know, and I, you know, I just use a one quarter inch, so um, you can do that. And, and when it comes down to the concrete, I'll show you in a minute, you know, this is not the most efficient way to install it on concrete. I can help you out with that. I'll, I'll do a video on that instead, but it gives you some specs and everything. So you can read that. Uh, I've done this a million times. So we're just going to actually um, go straight into uh, installing this the way that I do it. So we're gonna unbox, um, it has the two brackets here. Uh, the wall brackets, uh, they have an arrow for up and you um, keep this knob to the outside of the TV. So that's the, the right one. And uh, this is the left one. And so, uh, like I said, arrows go up, knobs go out. That's how you know it's correct. I, obviously I put them on wrong before. You know, it. not gonna lie, I've put them on upside down this way, uh, which they won't grab. I've, I've also installed them where the, the knobs are facing in, and that doesn't work either. So, you know, you gotta be careful and understand that this is not gonna work here. Knobs to the outside, arrows up. Uh, most mounts have some sort of feature to tell you which is which. Um, then you have a, a bag of like bolts uh, for di different TVs. So. You know, your TV will uh, work with one set of the bolts and the spacers and washers in here. You just use a combination of those. Um, there is this hexagonal key and screw. I'll show you that in a little bit. And then there's these lag bolts and the washers for that. So we're going to put those two things aside. And then underneath is the wall plate. And this wall plate, as I said, can work for as a template. 
you can use it to, to, um, to put on the wall and level it, and we'll show you that in a bit too. So let's get these brackets going here. We'll get the brackets on the TV. Uh, on the back of your TV, there should be four holes like this. Um, they may be closer, uh, they may be a little wider. If you have a 75 or 85 inch TV and they're out at the 600, that's about as far, uh, 600 or 24 inches apart, that's about as far as they go apart. Uh, if it's an old TV, they may be irregular, but if it's a, a new TV in the last, you know, six to eight years, it should have these uh, patterns, a VESA pattern. It, this is a 400 millimeter pattern. There's a 100 that's very small that these will not work for. If you have a 100 or even a 200 pattern, is like they make them, it's about this tight and it will work on a 200 just barely, but the 400, um, 300 for Sony, 400 for uh, Samsung and LG, um, some of the LGs, they're lower to the ground uh, um, and you have to put them lower and the screws will be down at the bottom parts. But as long as they're secured to the TV and like I said, up is up and the knobs are out, you're solid. So let's get going. This Samsung has, um, these holes are shallow so I actually had to use two different sets to get these going. So I'm gonna just put these bolts on and you can watch and uh, do the same. There you go, so that's step one. Obviously, step one, get these on secure. You wanna make sure they don't wiggle around, so that's what the, they include, the spacers and the and the, um, and the washers is so that you can get a nice tight fit. You don't wanna over tighten it. Never, ever, ever use a, a uh, elect, uh, electric drill on this kind of thing. If you break those bolts, your TV will never be mounted again because those uh, attach to the inside, uh, to the, either the frame of the TV or to the back of this plastic, and if those bolts snap off or snap the holder inside of it off, you're in big trouble. So hand tighten these with the screwdriver. Uh, that's why you have the screwdriver here. Just hand tighten them. They don't have to be super tight. They wanna be tight enough that they don't move. Uh, but there's a, a big difference between hand tightening those and you know using a drill which puts a ton of pressure and can snap those bolts right off. So be careful on that. It also strips them if you do that. These, um, these hexagonals on top help level the TV, it goes up and down. So you get a hex key, which is in one of the bags. Uh, and at the end of the install, when you're when the TV's on the, on the wall, you could actually turn these clockwise and it'll raise it up or counterclockwise will lower it. So you can do that if, you're, if your wall plate and the TV isn't level on the wall, you can do that to get it level. So those are good to show you now while we can see it a little better. Before we actually hang the TV, I just wanted to show you where the safety screws go. It can be a little difficult to show you once we have uh, the TV up, but if you look right here, um, the safety screws actually go up uh, on the bottom of this little bracket. You know, the top goes on the mount and then the bottom with a bracket will go in here and then these screws go up inside there and it will secure the, the uh, bottom into the, the back of that bracket. So uh, you have to do this at the end. If you don't do it, what happens is when you pull this TV away from the wall, the bottom can come out and if you have a little lift on it, it'll just, uh, the TV is at risk. So go ahead and make sure at the end here you, you do this. And I just wanted to show you right before we put the TV up how this goes. Now I'm gonna measure this. This is the, the second step and one of the most important steps because I've seen a lot of install videos and um, the install videos seem to always skip this step. It's like, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, the uh, South Park episode with the underpant gnomes. You see, phase one, collect underpants. Phase two, phase three, profit. And that's what I feel like this does when, they're, um, when they skip this step because how do you know where the TV uh, goes if you don't measure where the bottom and the top of the TV are relative to where this bracket is on the wall. If you just go up to the wall and just throw the template on the wall and start drilling, you have no idea where this TV is gonna sit relative, right? So I know Santa's has this like tool, this, this app online now where you can put in a model number of a TV and your model number of your um, the bracket here and you can get that, but that seems kind of silly to me to spend all that time and effort going through when it's just a simple measurement. So I'm gonna show you that simple measurement. If you have an idea of where you want the TV on the wall, all you have to do is measure the top and the bottom of, the, of where the TV is to the bracket. So here we go. The bottom of the TV is sitting on the ground. It is 16 and a half inches to the top of the mount, okay? And this is a 28 inch TV, 28 inches tall anyways. So again, 
16 inches to the top of the mount, 16 and a half, 28 to the top. So knowing those three measurements from the ground to 16 and a half to 28, you can measure the TV and that's, that's pretty straightforward. So now I know where the TV will sit. If I measure from where I want the bottom of the TV and I go up 16 and a half inches, that's where I'm gonna put this bracket on the wall. And I'll show you that now in step three. So now step three is getting this uh, bracket on the wall here, or the wall plate, I should say. When you have a stand below it, I typically like to have a TV set anywhere between six to 12 inches off of the, a table. It looks nice if you have it six to eight inches off. It has a good clean line to it. But if you have a sound bar or speakers, or if you're gonna have decorations on a table, you can, uh, you, that, that height can vary depending on what's good for you guys. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of use these measurements to figure out where I want this TV right here. So the t <clears throat> as I had said before, the TV is um, uh, 28 inches tall. And so uh, the mark for where the mount will be is 16 and a half like we measured. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this, uh, the 28 inches vertically here on the wall and see what I like. And see, I made some lines right here um, to show you guys where things are. So um, the line that I made corresponds with it being about uh, eight inches off this stand. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. So if I have the TV at this mark at the bottom and the TV uh, top is where my thumb is, then the 16 and a half corresponds with that line. And that's why I made that mark there for you. So that is our line for the top of the mount, okay? The other measurement before we get going on the studs is we have to figure out where we want it centered left and right here. So this stand, um, this, this entertainment center below, the center of it lines up right with this mark. And so you can measure off the wall, you can eyeball it and then move the stand left or right. But if it has to be exact, if it's between two windows or if it's over a fireplace or something like that, just measure it out and then measure the same on the wall and then get your line and use a level to mark it up. And that's what I did here. I have our center line, okay? So now we have to find the studs or if it's a concrete wall, you have to drill in the concrete or if you have metal studs, you have to get the fasteners in. So we have a normal wall here with wood studs and drywall, so I'm just gonna show you that. So we're gonna use the stud finder just to double check the marks here. Uh, when you have a, a mount mark right here, try to make the marks under it so you don't have marks all over where the TV may not sit. So there we go, we got a mark right there, obviously where this uh, line is. And if you guys need help with stud finding, there's a video linked that you guys can see how to use stud finders. We'll check it out over here too. Got a couple, uh, a couple dings there. Looks like that line is good. Uh, double check it, you can always, like I said, the stud finder video, you can check it with a small bit and run it across a few different spots. That's okay, the mount's gonna go right here anyway, so what's the difference? Um, but now that we have our, our two studs here, we're gonna go ahead and use, put the bracket up, which is again, part of the step three here on installing. So we wanna have this bracket up and we want it to be as centered as possible. Now with this, um, this mount, it can be uh, a little left or right because the TV that I have there uh, that we're installing is a 400 millimeter pattern, which is uh, 16 inches or so. And this is a 24 inch bracket. So I can move it up to four inches left or right and still be good to go. So we need to hit these holes. And as you can see, it doesn't line up with our stud. So I'm gonna shift it a little left until I hit both of my, my areas. And once I do, we have it leveled. Again, remember we have to level this and make sure that this bracket goes on level. Once it's level, we're gonna make our marks for the top two only, okay? Make the marks for the top two only. Because there's no sense in making all four holes. If you drill them at different angles, when you put the bracket on and you try to drill those in, it's gonna make your mount be a little off level. So just do the top two, try to make them level, and then we'll put those in. So I have the, uh, the half inch socket and the extender that I use, and I'm gonna put that onto my drill, and I'm gonna uh, screw those bolts in. Now be careful when you're doing this, don't over tighten them. You can't keep putting a ton of pressure on with this drill because they will snap the heads of the bolts off. So make sure when you're doing this that you uh, hand tighten them at the end. So those lag bolts that were in the bag here, 
I'm gonna go ahead and throw a, a washer on each and I'm gonna drill those in. So we have the one quarter inch drill bit. We're gonna drill those holes. As you see, I already did it, but I'm gonna show you. Once you have those drilled, I'm gonna go ahead and put that adapter on. And we're gonna drive the top through. The top two bolts, we're gonna drive in about 90%. So now that we have them 90% or so, I'm gonna hand tighten it with the ratchet just to make sure. And that'll give us an opportunity to check the level and make sure it's perfect so we can kind of micro adjust it and figure it out. So I can see that the left side is a little lower. So I'm gonna loosen it up and I'm gonna raise this left side up and then tighten it. And then I'm gonna make this side level, level here. When you tighten those bolts, typically it'll raise that side up a little. So you kind of just have to go back and forth and make sure it's level. We're dead on right there. So now we know our top is good and then we can go ahead with drilling the bottom two holes. Because now that metal will guide you not to drill in a bad area. So you can't really miss. Now that you have the bracket there, you can drill the holes right through. Be careful, you don't want that to happen. Almost caught it too. That'd have been great if I caught it. And now that we have uh, the two bottom holes drilled, I'm gonna put the adapter back on and we're gonna put these bolts on. So now the bracket is on the wall, it's secure. Um, you can double check, you can kind of give it a little yank and make sure that it's not loose. You don't want anything to be loose. You don't want those washers to be able to be spin, uh, spun around. If the washers are loose or if the mount moves, it's obviously not secure against the wall. So make sure it's secure. So now we're gonna move on to step four here. We're gonna hang the TV. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the adjustments and I'm gonna show you how to secure the bottom, the screws in the bottom. So now we come to step four, putting the mount together here, uh, connecting the brackets onto the wall plate, all right? So as I had said before, it can get a little tricky connecting these on here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just attempt to do it and see what happens. So the, the, this side went on right away. The left side, it didn't go on perfectly, but then I got it to go on uh, the second time. And now they are both secure. You'll notice it'll the top has to be on obviously, and the bottom will fit in against the wall when it's on correctly. If the top had stayed on this left side, had stayed elevated, then the bottom wouldn't kick in all the way. And so that's how we know if it's on uh, appropriately or not. So now that we have it on the wall uh, and secure like this, we're pretty much done. So now what we have to do is make sure that those safety pins are in the bottom, like I had said, the safety screws right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those in now. So last step before we're finished, we're gonna go ahead and use the hexagonal again to go in at the top of each of those little brackets and adjust, to micro adjust it to make sure that you're level. And once you're done with that, the install is complete. So the TV's on the wall, looks good, it's safe, everything's good to go. Uh, I hope yours is too. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments down below. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this because we're going to be putting out all the new mounts, all the new TVs, new streaming services, etc. So be notified when a new video comes out. And just remember that if you follow these kind of tips, you can be the installer.